Hey you guys, Kelly Jackson here. I'm at Town & Country Veterinary Hospital in Town & Country, Missouri. And you probably wonder, if your dog or cat needs x-rays, how do they do that? Well, we're going to take you behind the scenes and see what it all entails. Hi, this is Dr. Wally from Town & Country Veterinary Hospital. Today we're going to show you how we go ahead and take x-rays on your animals. Most animals can be x-rayed awake. We have two holders that will help us today. And we're going to show you how we would take an x-ray of Jeb. We're going to make sure that he didn't eat anything he wasn't supposed to. So this is Jeb and what we do when we take x-rays on animals is usually we just lay them on the table. It, they seem calm. Um, very rarely do we have to sedate animals. The only time we really have to sedate animals, of course, unless they're fractious or, or scared or really nervous, is when we're doing x-rays for like OFA, we're getting hip certified and things like that. But the average dog can be awake during an x-ray. So we're going to go ahead and show you how we get an animal to lay down and stay still for their x-ray. So we turn off the lights in order, there's a, there's a shadow here so we can show exactly where the x-ray beam is going to be. We can make it bigger and smaller depending on what we're x-raying. And once we get whatever we want in focus, and you can see he's comfortable, he's relaxed, he has trouble breathing, so that's what we're hearing. But he's relaxed and then we just shoot the x-ray and it's over and done. So for some animals, this, this option here is much more comfortable. Some animals have a very bony back, and a lot of times they have to be laying on their back for an x-ray. So we put them in these bee troughs, which is cushioned and padded. It keeps them straight, it keeps them much more comfortable, and you can see he's very relaxed. We would take our x-ray, and we'd be done. X-rays are used in veterinary medicine all the time. We can use it for anything from diagnosing broken bones to diagnosing something that your dog ate that could be stuck in the abdomen to bladder stones to cancer and I mean anything in between. So we use them all the time. What we're going to do, this is Alistair <laughs> who's on my table here. Um, I'm going to show you one. This is a dog that came in, um, was urinating blood and when after a couple other diagnostics were performed we ended up doing some x-rays and you can see right here her bladder is full of stones so we knew we had to go in and, and take care of that um, but we use it for all different things and, and as we showed you a minute ago x-rays are really easy to do on animals and very few animals mind it um, they're relaxed we don't do anything really painful if they are painful like I said we'll sedate them um, if we're doing it for orthopedic reasons for OFA of the hips and elbows or pen hips which are um, to be, have their animals certified for breeding. Those animals have to be sedated, but most of the time we can do these awake. Even some of the skull x-rays and neck x-rays and back x-rays can all be done awake, which is really nice. So if you have any questions, give me a call. So as Dr. Wallet just said, x-rays can really tell a lot about your pet. From Town & Country Veterinary Hospital, I'm Kelly Jackson for ARF.com.